Well, I'm proof that you don't need a huge lot of money to start a school. If we're thinking of our community of thinking in schools in terms of trying to match the large institutions out there to be funded by our own community, we'd never get started. And as far as I'm concerned, you start small and you build up because the word gets out there. And I've actually got a waiting list of children who would like the children to be, you know, benefit from what I, I have on offer. So it's starting small. But I mean, what is more important is pooling together and coming under one umbrella. And that's for, for us in this country is the only way to sustainability. Because we've got a lot of talent in the community that is not being tapped into. And we've got, what I found is that a lot of people are working in isolation. And working in isolation sets you up as a target. I found that to my, um, you know, to my, to my own ends. That it sets you up as a target from the establishment. They're really not interested in promoting any sort of black education-led institution, having made that abundantly clear. So unless we pull, and it has to be the, not just teachers, but the businesses, the mentors, all need to come together on the one umbrella, because they will be the ones who will be providing the employment. And so it becomes a force to be reckoned with. So when everybody's come together and we have a logo that is central to that ministry, if you like. And you see it along the high street as you drive along, you have a, a barrister's company, and next to it is the, the logo for that ministry. You know that our people are covered, our children are covered. And you find that wherever you go, then it becomes a force to be reckoned with, and everybody knows where you're coming from. But it's also to open up opportunities, not just here in the UK, but in Africa, and throughout the Caribbean. So that the children need to know that the world out there is theirs. They're not just confined to East London or to South London. They're, 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 the world is theirs to explore. I've actually got internships that are waiting for them in, in Ghana, in, 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 in banking, in medicine, so that they can go out to Ghana and do an internship for up to three months and from the age of 16 between two weeks and three months. So the, 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 there's that out there, and I'd like to take that in other, you know, other parts of, open up those opportunities in other parts of Africa and the Caribbean so that they know that their first work placement doesn't necessarily have to be up the West End or in the center of Lewisham. It could be in Trinidad or Tobago somewhere. It could be in Georgetown and Guyana. It could be in the Rupununi. It could be anywhere. And then just open up that world for those children that is also part of their education, being able to travel and seeing different cultures and seeing how people live and evaluate it against their own. So for me, that has got to be the way forward. We have got to come together. I didn't need a huge outlay. The biggest outlay that I did to start not my school was actually the rent that was 25,000 a year, which for me was absolutely mind blowing because it came out of my own savings. But having said that, we don't really need, if we've got somebody who can, we can build our own building and we can buy our own land, etc. but that is going to be time consuming, you can start in a small space. Because we have all got the same interest, we want to see our, our children achieve and become something better than what we've even done. It's to build on what we can give them and take it even further. So start, start small and build up from there because the word does get out and then you'll find more and more people. And if we come together and we've got the, some parents, let's say for example, like this one, dad is a builder and you can put it, fine, let's get a piece of land and we build our own.